So we're gonna be doing an EMOM today. So that's every minute on the minute. minute. <laughs> we're gonna be doing five exercises. So that's gonna be five minutes each or five minutes of an exercise and then two times of two sets. So let's get started with that warm up. So we're getting started with the spinal flexion. So we want our feet to be hit, uh, shoulder width apart, our knees behind our toes, and we're punching our back over while we're going down and we're arching it. Big shoulder over the top. <laughs> we're arching it down, punching it on the way back. Big shoulder roll, making sure that those knees don't pass those toes. Really elongating our back here. Breathing through this. Making sure that our weight is in our heels and that we can wiggle our toes. Really opening up those shoulders and that back. We're going down for two and up for two. Down for two and up for two. Let's take two more of these. Last one. All right, next we're gonna be reaching across the room to that opposite corner, stepping out, getting that heart rate up. We're reaching out with those hands, breathing through this, getting our heart rate up. There's gonna be no structured water breaks during this, so whenever you need water, just go and grab it while I'm explaining, or during that rest portion exercises in that one minute. Next, we're switching to hamstring curls, stretching out those quads, keeping sure, making to keep, keeping moving. <laughs> Words hard. <laughs> we're stepping, making sure that that planted leg, that knee has a slight bend in it. Opening up that chest. And those quads, stepping this out. We're doing awesome, breathing through this. Next, we'll be taking it to some windmills. So we're planting those feet, shoulder, shoulder width a little wider. And we're bringing opposite hand to opposite foot, stretching out those hamstrings. Breathing through this as well. Perfect. Just making sure that our knees have a slight bend in them. But we want to be stretching out those hamstrings and those calves. We're doing awesome. Let's take three more of these. Last one. We're going to be taking it to a couple inchworms. So we're tippy toe, reach to the sky, pinch at those hips, bring your hands to the floor, walk them out in front of you. You can add that push up if you'd like. Or, and then we'll go to the plank position and then walk your hands to your friends and repeat that. Bringing through this, especially in that plank position, we don't want to be holding our breath. Half raise at the top. Let's take three more leaves. We're doing awesome here. One more after this. And when you guys are done with that last inchworm, you guys can meet me on your mat. Just getting ready to work. All right, so we're doing that EMOM that I said to be lower body focus every minute on the minute. So we're doing 20 reps of each motion, each exercise. So, and I will let you know like, if it's like lunges, we'll do 10 on each side, something like that. So our first exercise is gonna be a squat with a leg raise. So 20, 10 on each leg raise. So same thing as those spinal flexions, we're making sure those knees are behind our toes, chest up, we're bringing you down to that squat and then we're up, kicking that leg out, and we're switching sides every other time, every time we come up. We're breathing through this, and then 
Our next exercise is going to be a curtsy lunge. So it's going to be a lunge, but instead of going straight back, our leg is going to go back to that opposite side, like this. If you want to add some cardio, feel free to jump it out. Like next exercise is going to be a Romanian deadlift. So then we're going to be doing 10 kickbacks on each side. So you're going to plant one leg on the floor, bringing one leg up, trying to find something on the floor that you can focus on that won't move, like six feet away from you. And we're bringing up that leg 10 times and then switching to that other leg for 10 times. Second to last exercise, we're going to be on the floor. It's going to be a rainbow. Two can go on your hands or your forearms and on your knees. And then one leg is going to be straight out behind you, like we're painting the wall behind us. And we're making a big rainbow with that foot and that leg. We're doing 10 and then we're going to switch to the 10 on the other side. And our last exercise of that set will be a plank with a leg lift. Again, you can do it on your elbows or on your hands. Keep in that plank position. Ten on each side. Lifting those legs. Squeezing that glute. So those are our five exercises for this first set. We're going to be doing those two times. So go through once and then go through again. So let's get started. We're doing 20 of each. Everything that has one side is maybe 10 and then 10 in the same minute. So let's get started in three with those squats to the leg raises. In three, two, and three. We've got a minute. We're doing 20 of these. We're making sure that we're breathing, keeping our chest up, making sure that our knees stay behind our toes. We're doing awesome. We're squeezing those outer thighs, those outer glutes on that way up for that leg raise. We're halfway through with this minute. We're breathing through this. We're doing awesome. And once you reach that 20, you guys can stop, rest for the rest of that minute. We've got 15 seconds left. A reminder that next exercise can be those curtsy lunges. Feel free to grab a weight or just use that body weight. We're switching in three, two, and one to those curtsy lunges. Once you reach 20, you can go ahead and stop. Again, thinking as those squats. We're making sure that those knees don't pass those toes. We're doing 10 on each side. We're doing awesome. Feel free to add that cardio. Totally up to you, this is your workout. We're halfway through this minute. We're doing awesome. We've got 20 seconds left. 15 seconds left. Use, when you're done with those 20, use this as your rest. Feel free to grab a drink of water. We've got five seconds left. We're taking this to those Romanian deadlifts. 10 pulse backs on each side. Ready? Three, two, one. I will lift up to the 10 on each side. And then we're going to switch here. Feel free to drop that foot down if you need help with that balance. Or keep that foot covered the entire time. We're doing awesome. Making sure that the planted leg is slightly bent. We're doing awesome. we got 25 seconds left. Count on each side and then we're done. We've got 15 seconds left. We're doing awesome. Next exercise will be those rainbows. On the floor, on your knees, elbows or hands, totally doesn't matter. We're getting started in three, two, and one. Like we're painting, painting the back of that wall. We 
make you so that I put this flex three ten more to on each side in this one way. Flexing those glutes at the top. We're doing awesome here. Make sure to switch when you're done with the ten. Breathing through this, keeping our core engaged the entire time. Bringing our belly button to our spine, pinching the back of that room with that foot, squeezing those glutes. We've got 15 seconds left. We got one more exercise of this set, and those are going to be those planks with those leg lifts. We've got five seconds. We're taking it for three, two, and one. Twenty. And side, making sure that that core is engaged, just like the core, that that belly button is brought to our spine. Feel free to take it on your elbows, or just to hold that down in front if you don't like that one. You guys are doing awesome. Breathing through this, I know it's super easy to hold your breath through four. But we got this. Focus on your breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. You've got 20 seconds left of this minute. Now we're going to take a little bit longer of a break and start those five exercises over again. Push cut. We've got less than 10 seconds left. We're doing awesome. We've got three, two, and one. Awesome job, guys. Shake out those legs. We're doing that set one more time. And then we're gonna be doing a new set two times. Same idea of the EMA. So we're gonna get started with those squats, with those leg lifts for a minute, 20 of them. In three, two, and one. Making sure that those knees don't pass those toes. If you have writing on your chat on your shirt, you should be able to read it, keeping that chest up, squeezing those glutes at the top, especially those side glutes. We we're bringing that leg up. We're doing awesome. Making sure that our weight is in our heels, so we can wiggle our toes. We're halfway through. We're exhaling on the way up and we're inhaling on the way down. We've got 20 seconds. And once you hit that 20 mark, 20 reps, we're done. Rest for those last 10 seconds. Next, we're going to those curtsy lunges. 10 each side in five seconds. In three, two, and one. Bringing, making sure that that knee doesn't pass those toes, just like those squats. Again, our chest wants to be up. We're breathing through this. Exhaling on the way up, inhaling on the way down. We're doing awesome here. You should be so proud of yourself for stopping midday or just waking up, like I know a lot of us are doing working out with me. We're doing awesome. We're halfway through. Making sure to breathe through this. We're exhaling on the way up, inhaling on the way down. We've got 15 seconds left. That was our last curtsy lunge. 10 seconds. Next exercise we do those Romanian deadlifts. With those 10 kickbacks for each side, we're getting started. In three, two, and one. Making sure that that planted leg, that knee is slightly bent. We're squeezing that glute at the top of this lift. Ten on each side. Again, breathing through this. Finding something about six feet in front of us to look at to help with our balance. Again, feel free to take a break and let that foot land on the floor or hover. Again, just 
We're doing awesome. We got 20 seconds left. Next, you're gonna be on the floor with that rainbow on your elbows or your hands. Keep that big arch with that foot pinching it back in your wall. We got 10 seconds. We're going over to that rainbow in three, two, and one. 10 with each foot. We're doing awesome. This is our last time with rainbows. Try to make them as big and as wide as possible. But keep it slow and controlled. Remember, 10 on each side and switch within this same We got 10, and for five, three, two, and one. Okay, so our next five exercises. So we're about halfway done with class. We're doing awesome breathing. Now is a great time to take a water break if you haven't. So our next, I'm gonna be demonstrating our next five exercises. Same format, 20 each. There's like different size. 10 each side, rest for the rest of that minute. So our first exercise is gonna be a sumo squat into a calf raise. So we want our feet to be wider than shoulder width apart. And if you want for that sumo, sumo, sumo squat, you can make sure that your feet are either facing in front of you or angled out to the side, totally doesn't matter. And so we're bringing down to that sumo squat, up to that calf raise. We're doing 20 of these. And then we're going to a lunge with a kickback, very similar to that um, Romanian deadlift, but instead we're bringing that lunge and then kicking back, lunge, kicking back, 10 on each side for that one minute. And then we've got 20 side squats, so 10 on each side. So we're going one leg, the planted leg is going to be straight, while that leg going down is going to be the one doing the squat, doing most of the work, just squatting down. I like to do 10 on each side, and then switch. So totally up to you to do alternating, making sure that that planted leg is straight, and that one that's bending and moving is doing a lot of work, making sure our knees don't have it. So it's our second to last exercise. We're going to be on the floor, doing on our backs, doing a single leg knee bridge. So we're gonna be doing 20 total, 10 on each side. So bringing that one foot in the air and bringing that, just squeezing those feet to the top, bringing those hips to the ceiling. And then when you reach 10, you switch to that other side. All right, and then our last exercise gonna be on the floor also. We're doing donkey kicks. So like we, how we had our foot flex for those rainbows, we want that same um, position. So you can go on your hands and on your knees, and one knee is gonna be in the center of your hands. And you're kicking that other leg back with the right knee, and that's making sure that 
So I got boots, black boots. I'm like flexing that glute at the top of that donkey stick. Head one side, switch the other side for 10, and then rest for the rest of that minute. So we're doing that twice, and then we're gonna be done for that. So let's get started with those sumo squats to calf raises in three, two, and one. Remember, we're doing 20 total, and then rest for the rest of that minute. Calf raise, squeezing those glutes while we're doing that calf raise, making sure that our core is engaged, bringing that belly button to our spine, making sure, balance, <laughs> making sure that our chest is up and we definitely want to be breathing through this. So we're going to be exhaling on the way up, inhaling on the way down, sending those glutes back. We've got 25 seconds left. For that squat portion, we want our weight to be in our heels and then shifting our weight for those calf raises. We've got 10 seconds left. We're doing awesome. We've got five seconds and then we're switching over to those lunges with kickbacks in three, two, and one. 10 on each side, squeezing those glutes at the top, making sure that that knee doesn't pass that toe. We're doing awesome here. Ten on each side. We're doing great here. We've got 35 seconds left. Making sure that our core is engaged. Bringing that belly button to our spine. Squeezing that glute. We're lifting that leg back. We've got 45 seconds left. We're doing off, I mean, 15 seconds left. Next, we're gonna be doing those side squats. 10 each side. We've got five seconds. In three, two, and one. I like to stick to 10 on one side and then switch on the other side. Totally up to you. You want to alternate. We're just making sure that those knees don't pass those toes. We're trying to keep our chest up. We're doing awesome. Great job, guys. Breathing through this. We want to be exhaling on the way up, inhaling on the way down. We've got 20 seconds left. Or <laughs> awesome job, guys. Breathe for the rest of this minute. We've got 10 seconds left. Next, we're going to be going on the floor to the single leg loop bridges in three, two, and one. Ten on each side. Squeezing those boots at the top of that bridge. We're bringing our hips to the sky. It's like 10 degrees hotter in my living room than in every other room in the house. <laughs> For some Squeezing those hips at the top. If you don't want to do some leg, you just put those both those feet on the ground and do 20. Totally up to you. It's your workout. I'm just curious, guys. We've got 20 seconds left. And then we're going to be finishing off with those donkey kicks. 10 on each side, on our knees and our hands. We're taking it for five. In three, two, and one. Two of donkey kicks. 10 on each side. Squeezing those glutes out the top of this. We're doing awesome. Great job, guys. Nice Slow and control is definitely the way to go with this one. We want to be feeling it in our glutes. Feel free to pull to the top if you'd like. Add yeah, that is a challenge. We're about to go through. Making sure that our foot is flexed. 
and our core is engaged. We've got 20 seconds left. Breathe when you're done with those exercises. We're gonna be doing those five. One more time through, and then we'll be pulling it down. So we've only got five minutes left of hard work. We are killing it, doing awesome. Be so proud of yourself. Take a rest after that. We haven't finished those donkey kicks. And let's get started with those sumo squats to calf raises, 20 of them. In three, two, and one. And once you reach that 20, you guys can take that rest for the remaining part of that minute. We've got five more minutes of hard work, and then we're pulling it down. Keeping that core engaged. Making sure that you're squeezing those glutes while we're up in that calf raise. Making sure that our knees don't pass our toes. We're exhaling on the way up, inhaling on the way down. We're just over halfway through this minute. We got this, guys. 20 seconds left. Once you've reached that 20, you can step it out. We've got 10 seconds left. Next, we're going to those ones with kickbacks, 10 on each side. We're taking it in five, four, three, two, and one. Making sure that knee doesn't pass that toe. Squeezing those glutes at the top of those kickbacks. 10 on each side. We're doing awesome. Breathing through this. We're exhaling. Exhaling on the way up. Inhaling on the way down. We've got 35 seconds left. Switch legs after you've completed those 10 on one side. Squeezing those glutes at the top of that kickback. We're doing awesome. We got 20 seconds left. Awesome job, guys. 15, 15 seconds left. Now we got 10. We're going to that side squat. 10 on each side, you can alternate or isolate one side and the next. We're going in three, two, and one. Making sure one of those legs is straight while the other one goes out and does that squatting. Breathing through this. We're doing awesome. Keeping that core engaged and that chest up. We've got 35 seconds left. We're doing awesome. We're exhaling on the way up. Inhaling on the way down. Making sure that that knee doesn't pass the toe. We're doing awesome. All right, we've got 10 seconds left. Next we'll be going to that single leg group foot loop bridge on the floor in three, two, and one. 10 on each side to make a total of 20. We're doing awesome. Squeezing those glutes at the top, making sure that our hips are going to the ceiling. If you guys don't want to take that single leg, feel free to drop it, drop both those legs, and just do 20 regular loop bridges, squeezing those glutes at the top. We're halfway through with this minute. We're doing awesome. Breathing through these, keeping our core engaged, bringing that belly button to that spine. We got one more exercise left, and then we'll be done. It's those donkey kicks. Make sure to keep those slow and controlled. We don't want to rush through them. We're getting started in five, four, three, two, and one. Going on those pantaloons. Taking 10 on each side. Making sure that our feet are flexed. And flexing that glute, squeezing that glute at the top of this. We're 
feeling awesome. You've got 40 seconds left. Last exercise of the day. Remember 40 pounds. You're doing awesome. Slow and controlled. Keeping that core engaged. Breathing through this. We've got 25 seconds left. Give it your all if you haven't finished yet. You've got 15 seconds left of this last exercise. We're taking it for 10. And then we're cooling it down. We're gonna cool it down in three, two, and one. All right, awesome job, guys. We're done with our work today, so now we get to do a great cool down. That's the part. So let's grab those quads or those shoelaces, bring our heels to our knees, making sure that our knees kiss and that, that straight um, planted leg has a little bend in it, that knee. Breathing through this, try to find something on the floor to focus on that won't move so you can find your balance. Holding your leg up also helps a lot. You guys did so great today. You should be so proud of yourself. Hopefully, it's getting warmer. So next, we're going to be taking it on the floor into an oblique stretch, making sure that that uh, leg is behind all. Stretching out those obliques. Points press. <laughs> Stretching out those obliques. You're doing awesome. You guys did so good today. These will be posted on the January Rack right. um, YouTube page in probably a few days. So if you guys need this again, or if you want to look at what other instructors are doing, um, you will have been giving awesome workouts during this crazy busy time. So let's do a figure four stretch on the floor, stretching out those hamstrings and those side glutes. We really work this today. There's a lot of different exercises. You guys killed it. Make sure to hydrate after this. We're switching legs. You guys did so great today. You should be so proud of yourselves. All right. And next, we're going to be going down the ball, giving ourselves a big hug, thanking ourselves for coming to class today, coming to your screen, logging your Zoom. You guys did awesome. I know it's crazy times, but we're just going to get out. Yeah? All right, so now we're going to be rising up one more day at a time. Keep that big shoulder roll at the top, bringing our hands to the sky and clapping it down because we did so awesome today. Um, I hope you guys are safe and have a great rest of your week. And thanks for coming to class today. You guys did so great.